And we're back with more of The Legend of Zelda on the original Nintendo. Um, I know I've forgotten something in here because I didn't go to these rooms up in the top because I did not know where the boss was. I am looking to get more money because I want to get the blue ring as soon as possible because I'm not very good at this game. Um, so, you know, this is not going to really be like my Mega Man X runs, and it's not going to be like my Link to the Past run, which honestly, that could be better too. Um, this is going to be more like my Mega Man 3 runs, or uh, when I played through Metroid, which I didn't record all of that, I only record the ending, which then the video became more about like this screwed up process by which I tried to make the video more than anything else. Um, I bet there's also like a secret treasure room somewhere, but I don't know where anything is. I don't have bombs yet. Um, as I do make these videos though, I'm thinking like maybe every three videos or so. Um, definitely no more than five. But every so often, I will go and do some research, watch some videos, you know, so that I don't just wander around aimlessly, because I know there are things in this game that there's just no way for you to know. secret places to bomb are. See, I learned that trick from watching a video. Uh, actually, I'll tell you the truth. I have watched some, some Zelda videos in the past. But I didn't really plan this episode out. Yeah, I knew there was something in here I needed to get. <clears throat> so it's a lot different than um, Link to the Past. You know, there's two treasures here in this one dungeon. That's kind of weird. Um, I think there's a trick that people use to get out. But I don't know how to get to that screen. Well, it looks like the enemies stay dead, like in the Binding of Isaac, which is... That's nice. Not if you leave and come back, though, but it, within the dungeon. Oh, right, I got bombs. Whoa, I got a shit ton of bombs. Well, that was definitely worth that. Wow. And like I said, right now, a lot of what I'm doing is getting rupees. Yeah, that was a little intense. <laughs> is the boss going to be back again? Nope. I've already been in here. So this is, you know, I'm discovering all this for the first time. I feel a, a little bit like I, I felt when I first played The Link to the Past, you know, kind of just figuring out all the little nuances of how the game plays, you know, getting used to the physics and uh, the kind of moves you want to make when you're in the middle of a fight. Now, I know I could bomb through some of these. Oh, nice. Ugh, oh, I 
love this shit. This is good. Yeah. This is, I can see why this is a classic. You know, I don't even have to play it very long. Now, if I actually had the proper nest system, and a solid classic nest controller, I'd be like, I'd be in heaven. That would take me back. But, uh, you know, this is pretty fucking sweet, too. Okay, yeah, very good. Very, very good. She'll go through the blocks, that's nice. So I gotta be honest with you, I actually don't really have any plan for what to do next. And I really thought long and hard about this. Like, oh geez, should I really make a video like that? And I thought, yes, fuck it, you know, do that, that'd be crazy. Um, you know, why, I can always go look up stuff later, why deny us the opportunity of seeing some genuine, just kind of exploration and discovering, because I kind of know a lot in this game, because I have watched some videos. And it's also one of the most famous games of all time, so... There's references to stuff everywhere. I've watched angry video game nerd videos. Um, but I really haven't sat down and played this game ever. I just kind of had this impression. Oh, it's too old style. It's going to be too hard. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> There's no clue whatsoever about where to bomb anywhere ever. Fuck. Shit. Oh, damn. Now, I know I need to go buy a blue candle. I know it's not the end of the world if I die, either. You know, so I'm not too worried about dying a couple times. You know, just like I, I died a lot in my Mega Man game. Um, I have just a tiny little bit experimented with this game, and I found out if you die, you restart with three health points, and you keep all your rupees. And I think you can keep your bombs and your keys and stuff, too. So that's good. Definitely going somewhere. I'm looking for a hole in the wall somewhere. Obviously not that one. I think one of these you can there's something here you can blow, but I'm not sure what it is. And it's like I've only got eight bombs, you know. Okay, I think this guy has the blue candle. Yep. We bought the blue candle. So we can burn things. 
Um, that should help us a lot, potentially. If I can find some of the secret places. Yeah, this might be another really long series, like my Mega Man 3 videos. This, this could, I can see this running for, yeah, like 30 videos or something. Which, uh, by the way, I am working on finishing my Mega Man 3 videos. <laughs> I haven't mentioned that in a while. I figure I'll let you know it is something that we're still working on. But what happened was... My terabyte died, so I had to copy all of my files over. It isn't really, it's like half dead. I can't run it for very long and then it dies on me. Is he faster or am I tripping? Good, I got a heart. Need a heart to live. can deflect that, that's good to know. Now I think, unless I'm crazy, I think the blue candle goes here. No? Or do I only get one use on each screen or something? How does this work? No, I think actually it might be here. Yes! Sweet! <laughs> That's awesome. I think I can go get the um, the better sword now, too. That's awesome. some slowdown here, which is kind of fucked up, because... forward to being able to afford the fireproof shield.
Hey, what's up? I think I need to show her the letter or some shit. And then I get something from her. side because those fire dudes threaten me. Okay, here I might get some more bombs. Oh, shit. Fuck. You know, the trick is to not panic, which can be harder than it sounds, you know? And just remember, if you're not attacking, you have your forward shield. I think I use the whistle here. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just kind of getting to know the world here, you know? It's, um... There's a lot more to take in all at once than, I think, Link to the Past. Because Link to the Past... They kind of stagger things. In a fairly friendly manner. This one, if you wander off too far in one direction, you can end up in a very unfriendly place. Kind of like this. I may very well die here. I should go back where the fucking... I know there's a fairy. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. I might die. Tough stuff. Woo! Close. <laughs> Wow. 
I think we're going to call that for this episode. Come back next time for more thrills and chills in... Um... <laughs> We have no fucking clue what we're doing at all, Masterpiece Theater. <laughs> uh, shit.